may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video. Make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. Now, a lot of we had a lot of replies last night talking about the ship, and I appreciate everybody's views. I was looking through all the comments, and I appreciate every one of you. You all had such great insight of what you thought happened about the bridge, and I agree with almost every one of you that there was something else that happened during that. Now, I talked to Sister Shelley. Shelly sent me a, a little piece of something that was talking about Biden and all of them, and uh, that they're putting a coalition that's going to be on the ground there in Israel, if you want to, I'm petting Gabe, he's right here at my feet, but literally, she had uh, the thought, or she was telling me that, hey, this is it, that's why that X is being formed over the United States, and she's right. When we see this, that the Biden is trying to start a coalition to go against Israel, that pretty much marks the end of this nation. And it looks like they're going to go through with it. Now, also, news came in uh, late last night. It says a mile-long train of heavy armor entering Ukraine from Slovakia. It says video has emerged from inside Slovakia showing a train estimated to be about a mile long, hauling dozens of M1A1 Abram tanks and other heavy armor into Ukraine from Slovakia. And I'm seeing the video, there is a lot of tanks. This video was taken yesterday and can only be from one of the two railroad lines. It's a very significant amount of heavy armor on, it, on its face, an indication that Ukraine and NATO patrons have no intention whatsoever of de-escalating this conflict, which we've already talked about that. That, that is not what they're going to do. We see all this between NATO and Russia, and there's no end in sight with it. There's none. These things are going to happen no matter what, because God has already warned us about it. We all feel it. Uh, also, Kim Fisher did a great video last night. You want to check out her stuff that she did. Right now, there's a lot of great videos coming out from Watchmen and Watch Women. They're seeing different things from all over the place. But we're all getting the same thing, that we're at the end. And we all know that. All the signs and indicators are there. They're all there. And it says, whoa, possible naval confrontation between Russia and Pacific Fleet enters the Red Sea. Possible sea confrontation between Russia and NATO. Once again, it's just like it's every which direction. The Russian Pacific Fleet has entered the Red Sea, making its way to the coast of Yemen, where multiple American and British ships carry out strikes against the Houthis. Russia and Yemen have signed agreements developing. One week ago, China and Russia formalized an agreement with Yemen, its new government, to allow safe passage of their ships through the Red Sea. Today, Russian warships entered the Red Sea, where U.S. and U.K. warships are. It's just one thing after another, people. It's, it's just not stopping. And we've told you that it's not. Today is the 29th. Now, Sister Shelley was telling me she believes that they've already done what they're going to do with the red heifers. And, I, and it's very possible that it has already happened. I agree with her. They might have already done it. It's definitely another. I believe that's another sign that we're going to be seeing. And it could be causing all the stuff that were that's happening, like with the ship and all that. Who's going to think that's crazy? But just judgment coming to America. That's one of the biggest seaports in America. And that's definitely judgment. There is so much going on, people. We just don't have much more time. 
There are so many things that's going on with Israel and Lebanon and Hezbollah and so many other things and with Russia and NATO at the verge of any little thing. And we talked about it, about them taking the Sawaski Gap. And that would mean NATO and Russia into a confrontation with them and Belarus. That could be any time. We're looking for a springtime offensive that could happen at any moment. Now, today we're in Revelation 15. And it said, I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having a seven last plagues, for it is them is filled with the wrath of God. And I saw it where a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name. Stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of God. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great is the marvelous are the works. Lord God Almighty, just and true are the ways, thou King of saints. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify the name, though art holy? For all the nations shall come and worship before thee, for the judgments are made manifest. And after I looked, and behold, the temple of the tabernacle and the testimony of heaven was open. And the seven angels came out of the temple, having seven plagues, clothed in pure and white linen, and having their breasts uh, girded with golden girdles. And one of the four beasts gave unto the seven angels seven golden files, full of the wrath of God, who liveth forever and ever. And the temple was filled with smoke from the glory of God and from his power, and no man was able to enter into the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angels were fulfilled. It's funny, we're reading Revelation, it's like we're living it every day. It's just one, every day, there's always something going on. It's just more and more things each and every day that lead us to the end. Trust the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, future. He died and was buried and rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to leave this planet. It's going to be any day. It's getting closer and closer each and every day we wake up. There are so many things around the world. We've had some of the biggest solar flares in the last two weeks that we've seen on record in a long time. Along with some of the greatest earthquakes. And if we listen to the Bible code, and it talks about this day, the 29th. I do believe crazy things are going to start to manifest like we've never seen. Will the world wake up? Probably not. They don't see anything. They don't see what's going on with Russia, NATO, Israel, or anything. They're just absolutely oblivious to everything that's going on right now. I talked to Sister Shelley about it, and she agrees. It's like people just do not see. They absolutely do not see. They don't see anything that's going on. And I just, it baffles me as much as it does each and every one of you. I know you guys are just like me. You speak to other people, and it's like they have no clue. It's really quite stunning. It really is. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for another day, Father. Thank you for putting a roof over our head and food on the table. I ask of you, Lord, to protect all the watchmen and watchwomen out there around the world on all these social networks. I ask of you, Lord, to keep them and their families protected in these days because each day goes by, we're being attacked more and more. Protect us, Lord, in Jesus' name. I ask of you, Lord, to watch over Israel right now. They're having so much trouble within their own government, and they're surrounded by their enemies. We see Jacob's trouble. We know that it's starting. We see it manifesting each and every day that we wake up. We know we're close to the rapture, Lord, but keep the Jews protected and keep them safe. In Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, I ask for you to watch over those that are sick today that's come here to the channel to watch this. They're all getting a blessing from us going over Revelation each and every day. I ask of you, Lord, to please heal the sick that are here on these programs each and every day in Jesus' name. For all those that come here to the channel for their loved ones to be prayed for, I ask of you, Lord, to lighten their hearts before it's too late in Jesus' name. And I have all the faith in the world that each person that's come here and put their family members in these comments each and every day that we pray for each and every day, they will be saved and they will wake up in time in Jesus' name. I have that kind of faith. Thank you, Jesus. Also, Jesus, I ask of you 
Watch over the innocents around the world and all these places where everything has gotten so bad. I ask you to protect them in Jesus' name until we get out of here to keep these people in your, in your sights, Lord, and protected by you. In Jesus' name, it will be done. I pray for those who come against these channels and my channel. I ask of you, Lord, to lighten their hearts also so they can get on that boat before it's too late. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for just being with us each and every day, for guiding us and letting us be awake, that we see these things happening around the world, and we know what it means. We see the prophecies. We see them starting to unravel, and we know it's time to look up. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything. Amen. I hope this has been a blessing to you. Like I said, we're here each and every morning. We're going through Revelation. We'll come up with something else next time once we get done with Revelation. We're going to start covering prophecies and a little bit of everything. That's what we do here. Until we're out of here in the rapture, which is very close, I do believe. It seems like it gets closer each and every day. The news just keeps getting worse and worse. I think about that ship since it happened. And I agree with a lot of you all that that definitely was happening. That happened on purpose. There's just no doubt about it. I watched the footage just like you guys did. And it's just something that don't make any sense. That port was aimed for. They're never going to say that. Now, Kim Fisher had something years ago. And she was discussing it with me. And he's talking, we do believe he was talking about a leader or someone that was going to be warned about China three times and would not listen. And that is Joe Biden. He absolutely refuses to listen about anything. He's so struck on trying to destroy Russia because the Democrat Party has something against them that literally they can't see past their own pride. Excuse me. People's pride is what gets in their ways these days, and these governments don't realize Lucifer is using that pride against them. And that's what you're seeing today. Lucifer's going to and fro around the world, gathering Earth's armies against each other. Understand who the true enemy is and what he's doing, because that is what's happening right now. God bless each and every one of you. I want to thank you all those are the ones who bought me coffees and those are the ones who have been uh, doing the super stickers here on YouTube for supporting the program. It helps us support other programs and helps other people that need it. So it goes right back to what everybody needs. So I want to say thank you once again for your prayers and your support for the channel. And I thank you for all the work that you guys are doing out there by letting everybody know how close we are to the end. Because that's our jobs. That's why God put us here. We was put here at the wor at the you know the greatest time in history, really. If you think about it, how many people wanted to see this, and we're here. He put us here to be able to spread the word, to get on the ark before it's too late. We're all modern day Noahs. So don't think you're not important. He placed you here, and you know, and really Earth's worst time ever. Because he trusted us that we could fight through all the crazy and all the bad teachings and everything. That's why he put us here. Ain't that something when you think about it? If that don't get you excited, I don't know what will. That he trusted us enough in the worst time in human history to be placed here, to be able to get people on the ark. That's why he placed us here. Everything we've done in our lifetime has led to this spot right here to get people on that ark. If I don't get you up and motivated, I don't know what will. People, we're one day closer to being home. I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube. Letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep. Those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. 
We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.